So guys, hello and welcome to another flight report. And what you see behind me is Mwanza International Airport, one of the smallest and cutest airports I've definitely seen. And today is going to be a very special flight because I published my Dreamliner review of Air Tanzania yesterday morning and then Air Tanzania got in touch with me and said we love your review so much, how about on tomorrow's flight we invite you to the flight deck of the 220. I mean, who am I to say no to that? Because it's also my very first flight on the 220 and is going to be inside the flight deck. I'm like super excited. Um, thank you Air Tanzania for this uh, opportunity. I'm going to be grateful for the rest of my life and now we're going to go and check in and then we see what it's like today. Super excited. Let's do this. So it's a small but also very hectic airport. Um, it's more like a bus stop. Um, anyways, it's uh, planned departure time is in half an hour. I checked on flight radar, the 220 already landed. Thank you. All right, I'm on board right inside the flight deck. It's probably the best seat you can have on this A20 with Captain Arif and Captain William, right? Awesome. So, um, it's going to be an exciting flight, and it's also the only 220 operating in Africa, right? At the moment? At the yes. moment, yes. Exactly. So, I can promise you this is going to be quite an interesting episode today, right? from the flight deck where all the action is happening. Now, paperwork is done, right? We're waiting for Just to clearance. Close the doors. All right. Yeah, and then we'll be on our way. And then be on our way. All right, let's do this. Captain William is talking us now a little bit through uh, the Airbus 220. Uh, have you always been like type rated for the 220 or what yeah. did you fly before? Oh, I used to fly um, the 
Dash Q400 before the Ultra. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the, uh, the government acquired the new uh, A220, and that's uh -huh. because they had a history of purchasing yeah. the Q400s from the value of the yeah. So yeah, it is a good aircraft uh -huh. in the, uh, the industry. Uh -huh. I think it's about maybe three, four years of uh, new technology at the moment. So exactly. So so, are you only using it uh, domestically at the moment, or have you deployed it internationally as we, well? We're doing domestic uh, flights, and we're doing international flights as well. We fly to uh, Comoros, uh -huh. we fly to uh, Lusaka, we fly to Harare, All right. and um, soon we'll be flying to Johannesburg. And do you personally have any ambitions to be ra rated for the Dreamliner as well? <laughs> um, <laughs> It is a <laughs> tricky question. It is a tricky I'm question. Sure, I'm sure your the boss aircraft, is watching as well, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what do you a brand new aircraft into the uh, industrial moment that is very uh, good to fly. Yeah. So absolutely. I would say, oh, uh, uh, it, it depends. It depends really. But yeah, uh, for now, I'm okay with it. I mean, since the fleet is growing so fast and there's a lot of like planes joining, yes. I guess. Yes. I guess so they're gonna get the progression goes faster as well. Yeah. yeah. Again. It just depends with the way you want to be. But still, such ambitious times for Air Tanzania, right? The fleet is growing, the, net, the network is growing, so it is, it's, uh, it's quite it interesting. Is, it is interesting and it, uh, it has to do with the push from the, uh, from the government and the president himself. Um, they, he, he wants the, uh, I mean, he's more into the idea of we should have a national yeah, carrier flying so. the flagship around uh, locally and internationally. And as soon as it got into power, and this yeah, was one of the promises that he had to fulfill. But again, the expansion rate is so rapid. Yeah. Uh, uh, we cannot say it's it's not it's not possible to keep up with it. Yeah. Uh, we 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 we're trying to keep up with what uh, uh, the president wants. Yeah. I mean, like a few years ago, they were technically dysfunctional, and now they've been putting all this up. So I, I can't wait to see you guys go internationally and compete with all the other. African Airlines. And so then it's also Captain Arif's uh, birthday today. Captain. Captain, it's your Captain. birthday today. Yes. How come you don't get the day off? <laughs> uh, it's a training flight, so I'm better off doing the training than that's right. uh, right. that's that's good. But still I'll finish in the afternoon and then okay, have a nice time it. in the evening. Yeah. Anything planned for your birthday? Yep. Anything planned for your birthday? Uh, yes, in the yeah. evening. Yeah. In the evening. Oh, Friday yeah. day, yes. So to my dear subscribers, please leave your birthday wishes in the comment section below. I'm sure the Captain Eric is going to be happy to read them. Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs>
quite of a of an in-between product you know for some airlines for example the 737 or the 320 is too large or too big or too expensive to operate and they need an in-between product like bigger than the Dash 8 for example so they get the 220 so yeah this is what the Airbus 220 is all about and uh, orders are high a lot of airlines thinking about getting it or have it on order so I think this plane has a very bright and interesting future ahead of it So this was it, that was the uh, cockpit experience here on the 220 with Captain Arif and uh, William. Captain William. Thank you so much guys for giving me this beautiful experience. You're welcome. And good job, great you're landing. Welcome. You're, uh, <laughs> we're hoping that you're going to fly with us some other time and uh, uh, get uh, to fly to some other routes, maybe in Osaka or Harare. For the last get off. Thank you very much. Thank you, hey. Thank you for the fun flight. Bye. Bye. So this is it. Back in Dar es Salaam. It's a very rainy and gloomy day. Um, however, that was quite an experience. I really enjoyed it. Very memorable first 220 flight. And um, yeah, if you liked the episode. So leave me a like, uh, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and let me know in the comment section below what you think of the 220 Air Tanzania and this very unique experience. Okay. Sometimes it's an actual... But if you're making your video, make sure that part is not there. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry about it. Like, otherwise... Because it will show red here. Now, I'm good friends with Airbus, they always invite me to their events. If they see that, they'll be like, Josh, what are you doing? <laughs>